Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Bible Journal in May. We are moving right along here. Today's word is mock. Yeah, so I went to Galatians 6, verse 7 through 10, and I wasn't going to write all of it down at first, but then as I was reading it, I realized it all goes together. Because I've heard it preached from just the one verse. And people who preach from the one verse usually go in a certain direction. And if you read the whole thing, you realize what Paul is talking about. And I think it's important to remember the context. So Galatians 6, 7 through 10, and this is from the modern English version. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows to the Spirit will live, sorry, will from the Spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we shall reap, if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who are of the household of faith. So this part here, be not deceived, God is not mocked, whatever a man sows, that will he also reap. You've probably heard sermons on this yourself, and... Um, like I said, when I've heard sermons that start with that verse, they usually don't go through the other verses as well. But when I read it this morning, even when I read just the one verse after, for the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Even that verse combined with that verse, I've heard go a certain direction. But when it's combined with all of them, And let us not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not give up. Therefore, this therefore is connected to the, what comes before. As we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who are of the household of faith. We've talked about works before and the good works that God has prepared for us in advance. Those works do good to all people, especially to those who are of the household of faith. If we do this, we are actually sowing to the Spirit. Because who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. That's if you're self-indulgent. This is looking out for other people. And this is what I'm talking about when I say keep things in context. So that's, that's a little more, I don't know, it's a little different, like I said, than what I've heard preached about it before. So I like that and I'm going to just write myself some reminders oops okay I have my mistake um Do good. 
not read to the spirit. So, it says do good here a couple of times. So I'm going to repeat that. Do good. Do not get weary. Well, I hope you're all doing well. We're getting some rain here, which is nice. Even the birds sound like they're enjoying it. I could have just underlined them or highlighted the phrases, but sometimes it's just nice to have them kind of pop out at you. Don't give up. Do good. Don't get weary. It's so easy to get weary in doing good. I've noticed that recently. Um, there's someone we've been pouring into and they're not, they're not having any of it. And, um, I think we're supposed to keep being good. Part of me says, well, what's the point if they're not even acknowledging? But. It's not about us. It's not about us. All right, so I'm just going to find Something like that. Doesn't have to be fancy. I just want it on there to remind myself. Don't give up. I was thinking. I would like some kind of a border. Hmm, wonder if I still have those flowers close to hand here. I do. Pretty sure I had some of the smaller ones too. I know what I can do. Doesn't have to be the smaller ones. But I think I'd rather have some bigger ones. Hardest part is finding the right color. Like that. 
And then I think I'm going to try doing a wrap around edge here. It just sounds interesting because I haven't done that before with these. Just kind of do half. All right, so then on this side, I'm just gonna try folding them over. Don't know if you can see that. They're kind of um, not really flat because of the glue in the center. All right, so then on this side, I'll glue it down on this side of the page. That'll give me two borders. And these flowers are kind of being used up fairly quickly. Uh, I might have to make some more soon. And that's totally fine because they're a lot of fun to do. Um, just want to make sure the middle stays attached. All right. Do good. So to the spirit. And how do we do that? I think first and foremost, it's agreeing with what the spirit is saying in the word. And one way to do that is, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who are of the household of faith, thereby doing the good works that he prepared for us in advance. So don't give up. Do good. Do not get weary. Do not get weary. Do not grow weary in doing good. All right, that is what I have today. And I'm gonna be thinking about that some more during the rest of the day. And I hope you got something out of that. And um, thanks for popping in again today and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.